Welcome to this brief guide to autofluorescence and autofluorescence examination using the Guckel's medical device. Some tissues emit fluorescence when lighted by visible light. This phenomenon is also known as autofluorescence. This happens because some molecules that we call fluorophores absorb certain components of the light charging energy. This energy is then transferred in the form of a soft fluorescence. Using optical devices, it is possible to see this pale light and even select the light emitted by fluorophores that provide diagnostically relevant data. Autofluorescence of the oral mucosa consists of a pale light coming from oxidized flavin adenine, dinucleotide and other fluorophores when excited by blue-violet and ultraviolet light. Healthy tissues produce a 515 nanometers wavelength green light. Here's an example of autofluorescence of the normal mucosa of the tongue. Conversely, tissues with disorders of the cell metabolism, such as dysplastic or anaplastic mucosa, appear as dark spots on a green background. That's because flavin adenine dinucleotide won't be oxidized in mitochondria affected by metabolic disorders and therefore fluorescence can't be produced. The disruption of the extracellular matrix, the hyperemia and the neoangiogenesis also contribute to reduce the emission of autofluorescence to a relevant extent. Here you can see an oral cancer in an edentulous patient in follow-up after surgical resection of a malignant lesion. The lesion is barely visible if the oral examination is performed with superficiality. Loss of fluorescence increases contrast, making it easier to see the tumor. Also visible is a clear difference in the extension of the margins of the lesion. Fluorescence loss extended beyond the margins which were visible to the naked eye. Here follow other examples of loss of fluorescence in two patients showing a dysplastic oral mucosa. The Goggles medical device is a low-cost and easy-to-handle medical device for the detection of potentially malignant lesions of the oral cavity in the dental practice setting. It consists of a pair of glasses equipped with filters that highlight autofluorescence when the oral mucosa is irradiated by the light emitted by any dental curing light. Potentially malignant lesions will appear as dark spots on a green background. Goggles is designed to work with any dental curing light. Curing lights are largely available in the dental practice. Here's some instructions on how to properly use the device. Following the naked eye inspection of the oral cavity, wear the goggles medical device. Turn off or turn down the lights. Then enlighten the oral mucosa holding the curing light at a proper distance, with the patient lying on the dental chair and his or her eyes shut. Finally, search for fluorescence loss areas. Remember that fluorescence loss areas persisting for more than two weeks with no apparent reason should always be considered as potentially malignant lesions of the oral cavity and therefore treated accordingly. Thank you for watching and for your kind attention. We hope you're enjoying the Congress and wish you a great time in Milan.